Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to reduce your disk usage on your Windows computer if it's at or near 100%. So if I actually open up Task Manager here and we go under Performance, what's underneath the disk section, that is what we are trying to resolve today. If it says 100% or anywhere close to that under disk, it will more than likely be your C drive and I'll tell you the percentage of the time the disk is reading or writing requests. So personally I'm not really having this issue on this computer at this moment however this issue is common among a lot of Windows users so I thought I would do a brief tutorial of how to resolve this issue. Now there are a few steps involved but we will be walking through step by step so it should be fairly easy to follow along so let's just jump right into it and we're going to head over to our start button and we're going to right click on it and then we're going to left click on run and then type services.msc and then click enter so I'm going to blow this thing up full screen so we can see all of the services here so we're going to be looking for what I'm so we're going to be looking for a service called Superfly okay so now that all of our services are listed we're going to be going down until we find a service called Superfetch so I'm just going to scroll down here and we see we have this service called Superfetch. It maintains and improves system performance over time. However, it's a little bit misleading and it's not a critical service. So what we're going to do is we're going to disable it. So in order to do that, we're going to double click on it. And then we're going to go over to the disabled section under startup type. Make sure it's selected at disabled. Then left click on apply and then OK make sure that the startup type is disabled. Once we're done doing that, we're going to close out of here. Then we're going to right click on the start button. Then we're going to left click on run. Now we're going to type reg edit. Then hit enter on your keyboard. If you get a user account control pop up, select yes. So we're going to go and left click on the little drop down arrow next to each key local machine. And then select the one next to system and now select the one next to control set 001 now you want to left click on the little arrow next to control now you want to go down to sessions manager or session manager and then left click on the little arrow next to that now you want to left click on the little arrow next to memory management now you want to click on the prefetch parameters folder. Now underneath the entry that says enable prefetcher, you want to right click on it and then left click modify. So currently we are set at three. Um, zero, if we had it set at zero, would mean it's disabled. One would mean the application launch prefetching would be enabled. Two would be boot prefetching enabled and three would be both application launch and boot enabled which is the recommended default setting which we're currently at which is three so we're just going to type in zero right now to disable it and then I'm going to left click on OK and just make sure we did it right we can go back on right click left click modify and we can see our values set at zero at this point you just click OK and you can close out of the registry editor so I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I would suggest restarting your computer once you're done, and hopefully your disk usage is back to normal. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.